the talk pod 836 plus let's go inside and talk about this radio a little bit your talk pod a36 plus can come in a variety of colors i believe they have a really bright green they have this clear casing and they have the traditional just black casing this radio as you can see has the extended battery which is usb-c for charging there's also an option when you power the radio on if you want to show an image you can load your own image I like that want to see it one more time there you go and the screen boots up you got this nice colored screen here good little layout as you can see i have ctaf common traffic air frequency for my area programmed into this most commonly used which is 122.8 i believe down here i have it in vfo mode on b side this is a local towered airport and I wanted to show you some shortcuts that some people is getting a little aggravated about. Uh, when you, how easy it is to switch between VFO and memory mode. It's not obviously clearly stated because a lot of people get confused. All right, you wanna swap from VFO mode to memory mode or vice versa. The green menu button, you hit it once, it takes you to the menu. Now let's get out of that. Long pressing has another option. Long press the green button and I go into VFO mode. Press it again, I'll go back to memory mode. Now, while you're in memory mode, the red menu exit button also has a long press function. Press it and it shows you frequency in the memory mode. Still in memory mode, but it shows frequency. Press it again and it shows you the channel number. Hold and press again, and it goes back to memory name, whatever you name it in the memory. So there's you a quick shortcut. If you're on a memory mode here, and you're like, mm, I don't really remember what that frequency was, hold the red button down, and it'll show you the frequency. And then it will show you the channel. And then you can go back to name. Of course, self-explanatory to go from top to bottom, you press the A, B button here and it goes to the bottom. Long press the red, does nothing in VFO. Long press green and it takes you to the memory channel or memory mode. So let's say we're both in, got the top and the bottom in helm radio range frequencies. And I was wanting to transmit on a band, the top VFO. Well, I would use the main VFO key, which is a transmit. Now, I'm inside of a metal shack. I'm not raising my repeater. You got your two programmable buttons down here, and this is how I have mine set up. Yours may not be set up like this out of the box. You may have to go into the programming software to set these. But I made it convenient to make this button my VFO B transmit top bottom pretty self-explanatory kind of easy to keep up with this button i program for a quick key to know weather click it again and it goes out and i believe the button up here you can select it as well for different functions and it looks like i have it set to scan or maybe that's the alarm mode but i've got it silenced so it just blinks anyway you you can set that button to do different things so this was uh, neat. When I picked out what color I wanted and I seen that clear, I'm like, dude, I hadn't seen that in years. So uh, it reminded me of the old clear wall phones that a lot of us had back in the day. But uh, so anyway, how to get that. Let's jump over to the software and I'm gonna show you how you can set your power on image to come onto this thing. All right, so when you download the programming software from TalkPod, you should have these options in there. This is your main CPS program. This is where you can read and write to the radio and change some settings. There are some optional features that you can set in the radio. Pretty basic, everybody's used to that. So there's your programming CPS preview. 
Down here at the bottom, it'll show you the frequency range that it is set to. And if you get a hold of yourself some new firmware, a firmware update, if it comes along, which it will look like this. This was released on July the 7th of 23. It looks like I downloaded it on the 9th. So if you download a firmware update for your TalkPod, download it to your computer and to load it, you're gonna use the TalkPod bootloader application right here. It will come up and you'll use this little three dot button to select your firmware. You'll hit open. You'll have to select your COM port that the radio is on. And then I think you hit that button. I can't read it, but uh, one of those two buttons will work. Pretty painless. All right, so you want to get the picture on load up, on startup. When you turn your radio on, you want your own little picture. You're gonna look for import picture tools. Double click that application, select your COM port that your radio is on, and then notice this in red, size 128 by 128 pixels. That is pretty small, but so is the screen. Open image, you would look for your images. And here is two variations of my little avatar logo that I shrunk down to 128 by 128. Select that, shows it in the preview, hit import, and it will send it to the radio. I don't have my radio connected, so it's just gonna fail. But as easy as that, there you go. You got your own custom boot up screen for your radio. So a little bit more about the TalkPod A36. You can see it shows that it can store up to 512 memories. It's got a uh, capability of monitoring UHF and VHF bands at the same time. It also has airband receive, and it has a little bit better speaker than what we've seen coming out with some of the new wideband and, and neat little radios coming across these. So it does have a better sounding, a little fuller sounding speaker. Also shows your FCC information there for the receiver certification. This radio is advertised mainly as a GMRS radio but it can also go into the ham bands sometimes through a unlocking procedure you can choose whether you want it locked down to just gmrs just ham or if you want it wide open uh, just note if you get this radio for gmrs and the part 90 certification if you unlock it for the ham bands or any other frequencies it does invalidate its gmrs part 90. there's your frequency ranges it has FM broadcast radio, your airband, VHF, and UHF. These are some of the color selections. You've got the bright green, regular old black, and then there's the clear. Currently, this radio is being listed for $49 or 50 bucks on Amazon. There'll be a link in the description if you want to click to that and check it out yourself and decide whether you might want this radio. Why consider this one over the Quan Shane K5? Well, this one has a slightly better, fuller sounding speaker, and it's a little easier to understand the AM reception from the aircraft. So I would give this a look. And right now I'm gonna go try to capture some audio samples from aircraft to include for you. So there's a preview of what the TalkPod A36 sounds like on Airband, and I have to say, I thought it sounded pretty good. I did use the stock antenna, and then I also used the signal stick antenna, and uh, 
both sounded fine. I'm sure the signal stick being a bigger antenna probably improved reception a little bit, but I didn't have no problem hearing with the stock antenna either. So I'm sorry, K5, you're being replaced in the drone bag. A36 has better sound. I was able to hear this thing halfway across the yard a while ago as I walked away and uh, could still understand the tower at Memphis, which is 75 miles from here. So uh, I like it. I approve. Good job. I want to mention some of us when we first got these with the stock firmware, the, uh, the airband receive wasn't much better than the K5. But Shane, K5 QBF from this side of the radio, had the company send him a updated firmware and he reported that his airband was sounding better. So I've done the firmware upgrade to this one and you just heard what it sounded like. I like it.